Hello and welcome to your daily energy report. I'm Ben Lack. For its completion, Riverside Renewable Energy LLC has been presented an award letter announcing an $11 million federal tax credit rebate by Rep Representative Robert Andrews for a new rooftop solar power plant project. The solar power plant project is the largest of its kind in North America, consisting of 27,526 photovoltaic rooftop sol solar panels covering 1.1 million square feet of rooftop at the Gloucester Marine Terminal in New Jersey. It has a capacity to produce 9 megawatts of electricity, which is enough to power more than 1,500 homes. The Isle of Wight is located off the southern coast of Britain. It has few conventional power plants and also receives its electricity from the mainland. Thus, the completion of one of the largest solar power plants near Newport is good news. The new solar power plant will make a valuable contribution in supplying the electricity grid on the island. The ground mount installation with an output of 1.6 MWP consists of 80 strings with 88 solar modules each. Each string is equipped with a SunMaster CS20 inverter from MasterVolt. This makes the plant one of the largest systems with string inverters in Britain. The Grand Traverse County Civic Center is a multi-use facility encompassing roughly 45 acres in Traverse City, Michigan, and it has a problem about the lighting of their mile-long oval track. To help increase overall illumination, they turn to solutions from Cooper Lighting. The main goal has been to improve overall energy usage while maintaining proper illumination, reducing glare, and limiting light pollution. After reviewing photometrics, analyzing paybacks, and evaluating several products, the Lumark RV Ridgeview LED area luminaries from Cooper Lighting were used as a replacement. With this new lighting, the oval track is expected to be well illuminated and an energy savings between 30 and 70 percent. And finally, the Pennsylvania Department of Environmental Protection, under General Permit WGMR123, encourages the reuse of liquid waste after it's been treated or processed by establishing water quality criteria that allow processed water to be managed, stored, and transported as fresh water. Eureka Resources fully supports the new standard, and they believe that this will help reduce environmental hazards and lower transportation and infrastructure costs associated with storage of partially treated wastewater from their oil and gas sites in the Marcellus Shale. That's your Daily Energy Report. To learn about these stories and more, please visit us at dailyenergyreport.com, and also make sure to check out our podcast on iTunes. For the Daily Energy Report, I'm Ben Lack. Thanks for watching.